Hi guys! So this is just going to be my weekly check-in. Um, nothing extraordinary. We'll save extraordinary for the cash stuff in. Um, she says now. Um, but I will probably announce something on my cash stuff in if I set it in stone by that point. So keep your eyes pulled for that. But today is just going to be a straightforward weekly check-in. So let us get started. So, let's pop you here. So, first off, we start off on Sunday. Oh my gosh. I swear, every time I start a video, I'm like, oh, have I forgotten something? Yes, I have, every single time. I need my highlighter, don't I? <laughs> that would help. Right. Now, let's begin. <laughs> So on Sunday, um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I will leave it here. I'm fairly active on it, um, a lot less lately, but you never know. Um, Budget with M got me into a brand called Goose and Gandar, and I believe we've corrupted Budget with Shah. Um, but basically, they dropped their Valentine's collection, um, and I ordered two items. Um, there's also an option when you check out, um, as long as they've got stock, there's a mystery item you can get for 19 99 and it could be up to the value of £55, I think. Um, I didn't get it this time because last time I got it, I got exactly the same thing I got the previous time, if that makes sense. And yeah, there's no way that you could get them to change it for a different colour or anything. So I just had to exchange it for another item that wasn't as expensive, if that makes sense. Anyway, um, so that was £49. So that actually came out of my money that my parents gave me for Christmas. Me. And then, so I'll, if I can remember how to do it, I will pop the pictures of what I got. I got a t-shirt in white which is really weird of me because now I'm around <laughs> small kids white is like the last colour you will ever see me in but I thought you know what I've just got to live life I can't not wear white just because I'm around the boys um and then after that me and my friend actually booked our hotel for York so if you don't know my birthday is next month um it's literally like three weeks away um, and me and my friend both share a birthday. We also share a birthday with Jenna um, from Budget GT. Have I got that wrong? Sorry if I have Jenna, don't kill me. Um, so yes, birthday twins there. Um, so we are staying for two nights and so essentially we're paying for a night each. Um, we got it to, for £90, so I pay 90 she pays 90 Um, and that was technically unbudgeted. I knew I, this year I wanted to go travelling, but I didn't necessarily put money aside for my birthday, um, for, like, hotels and stuff. Um, I will be using my adventures envelope while I'm in York, um, so I've got £150 in there. I did do a poll on my Instagram about how much all of you guys would take with you. And the answers were kind of between 150 and 200 So um, in my skeleton budget, at the minute I've put an extra £100, I'll probably keep digital um, and just take the rest of the money as well. But that is a good question, actually. Would you take 150 in cash with you or would you put some in the bank so you're not carrying too much cash around let me know down below um so yeah this actually came out of my chip account uh so it's what i normally call like my personal account <laughs> um also side note guys ignore my nails they're disgusting um they've literally been on for the longest time but i am getting them done the week of my birthday um so they'll look much better um then on monday i did a bit of a naughty thing so um as you know i have some savings challenges um but i've completed two of them and i still got two going um but i wanted a fresh set of different savings challenges for this year 
um, and finally settled on some from the budgeting bear from the lovely Dan. Um, so I ordered those and I also ordered a digital saving challenge from one of my subscribers and followers. Um, and yes, <laughs> I will also link their Etsy's down below, give them some love um, and have a little browse. I'm really bad for like <laughs> helping people do that. So yeah, they'll all be down below. Um, and then I went on Etsy and as I'm going to be in York with my friend, I wanted to pick her up something just for her birthday. So she has something to open on her actual day. Um, so Megan, if you're watching, skip. Um, but I got her this stunning um, Aquarius star sign thing personalised with her name on top. Um, it's just something small. I did want to also pick up the Psychic Sisters Aquarius um, birthstone slash crystal set. Um, but since it featured on Dragon's Den, it's been out of stock on ASOS, which I'm fuming about. Um, so yes, we'll see if we'll get that as well. Um, and then, oh, I'm not even marking these off, I'm so smart. So we're going to consider this one unbudgeted and then this one came out of gifts. So yes. Um, and then we had my Netflix bill come out and that was 10 99 If you guys have any recommendations for anything to watch, also let me know down below. Um, and then as per my money box transfer came out for £5. The 17th, I spent nothing. I was working, sorry if you could hear everyone come in. I was working the first half of the week. So, yep, didn't send anybody there. Um, Wednesday, so, in line with me wanting to travel more this year, um, I decided I needed to go and visit one of my godchildren. <laughs> They live quite far away from me. Um, I think all in all, it's like a four hour journey. Um, but I booked the tickets. So I won't actually be seeing them until, I want to say March slash April. Um, but I got the tickets early because last time I booked, I still booked like, I think a month in advance and it was like 60 quid, which is ridiculous. So I actually budget, uh, got some money so I took it from my savings, but I am budgeting it back, um, if that makes sense. So it was 37 18 um, so I'm going to pop that in unbudgeted because we took it out of savings. It wasn't necessarily available to be taken. Um, and then I had plum on the wrong one, plum on the Thursday. So that was £3.89p. Um, so yes, that was good. Then yesterday, um, I was in a rush and I was starving. So on my way to work, we have a cob shop, um, or a calf and I bought myself a breakfast cob. Um, I literally just had hash browns and bacon. Um, and obviously because I have round up on Monzo, it came to a total of four pounds. Um, so I can't remember exactly how much it was like three pounds of femme um but yeah that came out of my monzo pot for myself um and then also i noticed there was a deal with funky pigeon that you could use a discount code and you literally just pay for the delivery or whatever so it came to 95p i bought a birthday card for someone um and yeah that came from my monzo account again and then I did an unbudgeted buy. So basically my sister who lives in London, she bought one of the boys a uh, baby shark bath toy because he's obsessed. Um, but then I knew there'd be arguments. And also um, my other nephew looked like he really wanted one. So I just bought him one too because it's not really fair, is it? So that was an unbudgeted spend of $12.99. And that brings us up to present day. Um, I don't plan on going out today. Um, I might try and be content conscious today and try and think of like TikToks and posts and things to do because I feel like 
especially my Instagram accounts got quite dry. Um, I don't post actual posts. Um, I'm more active on stories and I need to kind of fix that. So I think that's what I'll be doing today. Um, but I hope everyone has a great weekend. And the only thing left to do, as always, is to put my weekly five pounds in to my savings challenge. So guys, um, whilst I don't know exactly what I'm doing with this, I keep having moments of, oh my God, I really want this thing. And it's like hundreds of pounds. Um, so Jade could attest to that because I messaged her. I think I messaged her the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm sat here. Like, why am I looking at like the cute Louis Vuitton, like mini purses? Um, like they're basically like the card ones. Um, but with like obviously a bit of space for coins um, and I was like and I also want the Marc Jacobs bag because honestly like I want to say six months ago but I don't know if I'm exaggerating but basically me and Linz from the Aesthetic Budget were talking about these bags so I think she bought one and I was like oh my gosh I need that that's so cute um, but she took hers back because she wasn't I guess 100% on it um, and then obviously I was like, no, I don't need it at the time. And then obviously now I keep seeing it everywhere. And I'm like, that would be such a good work bag. I mean, realistically, who has like three, four hundred pounds for a work bag. But it's in my head. So who knows? Anyway, tangent. Sorry. So we've got five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. Forty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. So yes, sixty pound in there. Um, because I'm not using it as the five pound savings challenge, obviously, obviously this would normally accumulate to two hundred and fifty pounds. I don't know how much I'm going to be saving this for, um, but I will be using my new digital planner for this. I think so. I'll still be using the same envelope, but I'll just be using the money and ticking it off the digital savings challenge. If that makes sense, you'll see in my cash stuff, and I'll do it so you can see. Um, but yeah, that is everything. And yeah, I hope everyone has a fabulous weekend. I literally need to drink my tea um, and figure out content. I think I'm going to have a lazy-ish day. Um, I'm always in the mood to tidy and organise, but I've kind of done that to my bedroom. So there's not too much for me to do. I am available um, on hire though, guys. <laughs> I'm fully joking, but I'm kind of not. If anyone needs help <laughs> um, with like purging and organising, I am quite ruthless, so bear that in mind. Um, but just hit me up on Instagram, you know? <laughs> as long as you are not too far away or pay for travel, we're good. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that somewhat. Um, and... Oh, I just realised next week I'll actually be doing my budget with me as well so next week will be the budget with me the weekly check-in and the cash stuffing is it yes yes and I'm also going to tackle um one of it's not a fear but I don't know about you guys um I don't really eat by myself if that makes sense like when I go out so I think next week I'm going to treat myself and go for a like a breakfast by myself before I go shopping and get my cash out so we will see <laughs> but yeah um if anyone has any questions or anything just let me know down below and if you're not subscribed I would love it if you could join the community um but yeah sorry I'm literally rambling now I will leave everyone to it but yes have a fabulous day and I will see you next week for three videos